Hey, I'm so happy that you came. Oh. Um, I'm sorry about hugging you just like that while being all sweaty and all. After the match, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just really ecstatic right now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it, it feels really good to win the series. I'm really proud of everyone. Yeah, I can honestly barely even believe it myself. Especially considering where we were at last year. Our new coach has really made a big difference here in the team. Exactly. I mean, I don't know if you noticed that there was a lot of changes in the team at the start of the season. Oh yeah, there was a, a lot of drama around that. I think the main problem we had before was that our, our previous coach only... He only really looked at players' skills, you know. He also wasn't very constructive with feedback and such, and... It mostly just consisted of him being pissed off after a loss or mistakes without actually being willing to provide solutions to fix it. And that's what coaching is all about, after all. I know, right? But then we got our new coach here, and he managed to identify the real weak links in the team and get rid of them. Well, yeah, he did, of course, give them a chance to, to fix what they lacked, but they didn't, so they got taken out. Oh yeah, that's what Jason was so pissed about at the start of the season. <laughs> Imagine going from being team captain to straight up kicked off the team. Oh, don't get me wrong, I mean, he was an excellent player in terms of individual skill, but that was pretty much all he had. Other than that, there wasn't really any team play or team spirit. Poor leadership skills as well for a captain and an extremely arrogant and cocky attitude. Yeah, that's what a coach said back then too. Player skills can easily be honed if they get the right support and if they're willing to work on it. Players' attitudes, though, that's way trickier to, to deal with. Uh, by the way, do you want to go away for a bit? I just really want to get away from the crowd here for just a bit. I think uh, a bit of silence would be really nice right now, just, just for a while at least. Great, just uh, follow me. I I know a place. Ah, <sighs> it's nice to get away from all the people. It can be pretty overwhelming. And yeah, I'm not the only person who's happy that we won. And the others, yeah, they can be a bit much sometimes. What do you mean? Me, the MVP? Nah, I wouldn't say that. I've honestly never been a really fan of that term in, in team sports. I see everything more as a collective effort, you know? We needed each and every one of the players to do their part, and they all did. And if anyone of the team had done anything differently, then there's a big chance that we'd lost. Maybe it's a bit of a boring philosophy, but I personally think that we're all the MVPs in the end, you know. And besides, I also played pretty terrible in the first half. Honestly, you should be really happy you didn't get to spectate that. At least I'm really happy you didn't get to spectate that. Exactly. Unfortunately, it didn't go as well as the second one. They had us in the first half, not gonna lie. Yeah, 
Luckily, Coach gave us a pretty good pep talk in the end of break. I have no idea how he does it, but he somehow manages to spark up a flame in each and every one of us. Then, uh, we all came out and I saw you in the crowd. Well, it kinda gave me energy. I don't know if it makes any sense, but seeing you up there watching the match, it it really threw some gas on the fire for me. Don't get me wrong, I'm an extremely competitive person, and I don't take losses very well, but I don't know. Seeing you there, it really amplified all of that by like a thousand. I really played a lot better because of you. I don't know. Maybe I just wanted to impress you or something. Because I like you. No, not just like a friend. Don't you understand what it is I'm trying to tell you here? Okay, you know what? Now do you get what I mean? You finally caught on, huh? <laughs> but yes, I do like you. Like that. And that's the other part of the reason why I wanted to talk to you alone here. Our classes that we had together, they're ending soon, and, and having you in my classes this year, and being able to spend time with you and getting to know you, it's, it's been really fun. Doing our study sessions, and it's also been very enjoyable for me. I don't think I could have gotten through it without you. And I don't really want it to end here. And maybe I am completely wrong here, but... It feels to me like there might be something more here. So I brought you here because uh, I wanted to ask you if... If you want to be my girlfriend? Yes, for real, silly. <laughs> you... you will? <laughs> so I wasn't wrong then. <laughs> well, you know that I hate being wrong. <laughs> I was thinking, you see, Logan is going to be hosting a party right now to celebrate the victory and all, and I was thinking we could head there together, you know, first time going public as a couple and all, I think it could be fun. Yeah, I know that you're shy and... Not the biggest party person and all that, but... You'll be with me, and I'll make sure that everything goes well. And besides, I don't really plan on drinking anyways. Yeah? Great! <laughs> and if you decide that it's not your cup of tea, then we can always just leave early, you know? Yeah, I just need to quickly hit the showers and change and... Then I'll be ready to go. Oh no, you don't really have to worry about that. I think you look 
perfect the way you are right now. Even though you're not exactly dressed or prepared for a party, I think you look beautiful. I really mean it. You'll be the prettiest person at the whole party. Yeah, because my opinion is the only correct objective answer. And if anyone dared to disagree with that, then, well, they're wrong. <laughs> but I mean, if you really want to change, then we can stop by your place too on the way there. It wouldn't be that much of a detour anyways. Yeah, I mean, no matter how pretty you look in my eyes, it's... I think it's more important that you feel comfortable yourself, you know? Okay, sounds like we got a plan then. I'll just hurry up and hit the showers then. Uh, it's not gonna be long. I promise. We can... Meet right here afterwards, if you're okay with that. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> okay. See you soon. <laughs>